Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to the Creepy Wife Chronicles. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm the Creepy Wife. Vogue it, vogue it, vogue it. Consider subscribing. It's great here. I promise. If you're not new, thanks for returning. Let's jump right on into this. So on Monday, if you follow me on Instagram, and as always, my Instagram is at the Creepy Wife Chronicles, you would have seen a girl talk between me, the fabulous Ebony, the marvelous Melody, and the amazing Jojo. We miss you, Amber. That's our other lady that wasn't there. <laughs> and we talked about sex. And not just sex like freaky dicky bang bang chitty chitty, but the broader spectrum of sex, like how sex affects your children. Do you talk to your kids about sex? When do you talk to your kids about sex? Um, and how you personally feel about sex as a woman. If you missed it, man, sorry for you. I'm only going to touch on a few subjects from that because the main thing I want to talk about that we discussed from that is sex pertaining to you as a woman specifically. So uh, we talked about how we... How do I put this? How we deal with sex when it comes to our children. And I informed everyone that I say correct body parts. I give answers to my children that aren't overly complicated, but also isn't, you know, dumbing it down, if you will. Like, I don't make fake names and like the PP, the wee wee, no, that's Peter the penis and Vicky the vagina. Nobody can touch it or see it, but you, mommy and daddy, when mommy and daddy are giving you baths, and if ever there's a problem, you let me know. I'm going to run up. Okay? Anybody try some shit, let mommy know. I got this. And do y'all hear all this noise from these dogs? There is somebody on the roof getting a roof fixed for some particular reason. And the dogs are freaking out. Freaking out. So please pardon all the extra noise if you hear it. But I digress. We talked about that. We talked about when's the right time in your opinion, to tell your children about the birds and the bees and just how you function with sex and sexuality as a whole. However, the biggest topic I feel as women, we need to discuss that it was, it was, it was said that it can be awkward if you're not like in a marriage or even if you are in a marriage was, how do you tell your partner what you like? For me, it's as simple as being in the moment and being like, mm -mm, not right there, to the left. Ooh, yeah, ah, uh, uh, get it, get it, uh, uh. But for some people, it's not like that. So what is it that makes people uncomfortable is my main question, because I'm a firm believer that if I don't tell you what I like, how you going to do it? Makes no sense. I'm not going to sit there and not be feeling good, vibing, getting my orgasm. Oh, if you're not doing what it takes to get me there, I it's, it's hard for me to grasp the idea of not using my voice because as women, we're told, speak up for yourself. You know, don't let anyone hold you down. You're just as good as a man, blah, 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 blah. But for some reason, that same I am woman, hear me roar mentality doesn't always apply to sex. And it should. Okay, honey, I am woman, hear me roar, hear me come. Hear me bust all these nuts. I'm about to enjoy myself and you're going to do what I like. We're not just going to be experimenting and you get yours, but I don't get mine because I didn't speak up for myself. Absolutely the not. Okay. So I encourage every woman, every woman to figure out what you like. And if that means, you know, masturbating, you know, do a little diddle diddle in the middle, do it. There's nothing wrong with masturbation. In fact, it's a completely healthy and gives you all the happy vibes, endorphins, fixes your mood, your day. It does a lot for you. You know what I'm saying? And more importantly, it teaches you what you like. If you can figure out what you like to do for yourself, that can translate into what you're going to do with your partner. So for me, I know the pressure I like, the angles I like, all of the little nuances that during sex matter. And that's because... I have self-experimented as I feel every woman should. And I've also, you know, had discussions with my husband about what we each like. And it's not like we're sitting there having a powwow and just like, so 
what do you like? Oh, that, okay. And do you like it when I, okay, mm -hmm. well, I like it when you, like, it's not like that. It's more of an organic kind of vibe. Like, if we're getting freaky, prime example, foreplay can be the perfect catalyst to tell your partner what you like. And in the moment, it's like freaky deaky, like, yeah, I want you to pull my hair, choke me, you know, poke me in the eyeball, whatever it is that you like, spank me, I whatever. But during foreplay, it's easier translated, if you get what I'm saying. Like, it's easier to say stuff like that because you're obviously amping yourself up to get freaky deaky, right? But it's also an informational period. Like, yeah, I'm amping myself up for this sexual encounter we're about to have, but I'm also informing you of the type of shit I like. And that, in turn, is some shit you can do because we've already said it. You told me, yeah, I want to blow your back out. And I was like, ooh, yeah. So when you do that, I want you to, uh, uh, both ways, uh, uh, swirl it in the middle, sw swirl it in the middle, like, whatever. <laughs> like, you might not be as, like, theatrical about it or weird or crazy about it as me, but it's definitely an opportunity to do that and voice your likes and your wants in a manner that doesn't make you uncomfortable. And I would also say when you do that, consider why it would make you uncomfortable to talk to your partner about that. Because even if this is somebody new, like a one night stand, hey, do you boo live your best life? You are entitled to do a one night stand if you want to. Can't nobody judge you. Okay. Male, female, don't matter. If you want to have a one night stand and you're safe, do it. Whatever. That's who's going to judge you? Who's going to check you more importantly? Because ain't nobody going to check me. I'm married, but you ain't going to check me about what I do with my husband. And if I was single, you ain't going to check me about what I choose to do with my partner. Because I'm grown. And as long as I'm being safe and they're being safe, we do it. We won't. I digress. <laughs> but with a newer partner, it may be awkward. But I also feel like it's the perfect time to just get it all out there. We're new. We don't know each other like that. We're just now dibble dabbling in the dibble dabbles. And I, we should be able to communicate that because if you can communicate your sexual history and your sexual health, you should be able to communicate what is pleasurable to you and what is not. It's just that simple. And I feel like maybe me saying it's just that simple is oversimplifying something, but it's really just the mentality of the situation. There is no need for you as a woman, because I, I know so many women have experienced a sexual encounter where this shit here happened, okay? If a man is comfortable enough to push your head into his crotch, you should be comfortable enough to A, say, knock that shit off, and B, say, I can fucking do it too. Put your lips on my lips down below. <laughs> so yeah, if somebody is comfortable enough to do that to you, you should be comfortable enough to be like, hey, I like a little nipple play. Or I like a little, a little what, what in the butt, but it's, it's whatever, whatever you enjoy, your partner should strive to do. And granted, if your partner is uncomfortable doing some of the things you like, that is also a discussion that has to happen because nobody in a sexual experience should be uncomfortable. It should be fun. It should be pleasurable. It should be orgasmic. Mm, all of that. But it can't be that if you're not willing to speak up and majority of the time it's the woman who's just sitting back and holding her tongue because societal standards have conditioned us to think that we're not allowed to be sexually aggressive and not aggressive in the sense of hi give it to me it's mine although that's how i am with my husband because um hello it is mine all of that all of it is mine okay but <laughs> we can be dominant with our sexuality we can be dominant in the bedroom we can say this is what I like. This is what I don't like. This is what I want you to do. And if they're doing it wrong, we can correct you. Yeah, correct you. Not tell you how, not ease you in. No, I'm about to just correct you and be like, you know what? I don't like that. I like this. Move a little to the left, a little harder, a little deeper, a little softer. Whatever it is that you want, you need to just voice that shit. Say what you like, okay? Happy people do happy things. And it makes people happy when they can bust a nut. So, yeah, I, I feel it's very important to voice your opinion. What do you feel? Let me know in the comments below or on my Instagram page because I'm gonna put up some questions and things like that per usual. 
And I really want to know, number one, if you're comfortable, why are you comfortable? Like, is it because you're just, you know, so settled in your sexuality and your preferences that it's great? Or is it because you and your partner have great communication? And if you're uncomfortable, why is it like, are you embarrassed to say what you want? Because you think your partner might judge you. Oh, pause. If you think your partner might judge you for something you like, maybe you should think about why that is. Because a healthy sexual relationship, relationship, I can say words. (laughs) A healthy sexual relationship should be judgment free. Like you might not be into everything I'm into, but it doesn't mean you should judge me for it. Like S&M, for example, some people like that kind of stuff, you know? They want the whips and chains, the little pain, violence, and all of that, or whatever the case may be. But if their partner doesn't, that does not make them some sort of sexual deviant. That just makes them different from their partner. You don't have to like the same things. You just have to like what you're doing together. And it has to be open and honest enough to where it's pleasurable for both people. Now, I'm not saying, okay, just be bored over here and then step out and get what you need. No. That is, in my opinion, the primary issue with a lot of relationships. You don't say what you like and you start searching for it somewhere else. But had we had these conversations and been open and honest with each other, we could have reached some mutual consensus, some mutual ground where it's pleasurable for us both. And there is no need to seek that pleasure outside of your partner. Just basic logic to me. But I could be wrong. Let me know. I'm saying like, if you disagree, you have every right to do so. We ain't got to agree. We ain't even got to agree to disagree. Your opinion is yours. Mine is mine. I said what I said. (laughs) But yeah, so if you're uncomfortable, let me know why. And also, I would really like to know if other people think that foreplay is the appropriate time to do that, or do you think it should be a conversation prior? I'm a fan of foreplay because it doesn't create that uncomfortable air that some people could feel like, you know, sometimes if you're dealing with somebody who's not as comfortable talking about sex as you, it's going to have that weird, awkward cloud of tension just hovering over you. And it's not because somebody's less mature than the other person. It's just because someone is less experienced with verbalizing things of this nature. So, yeah. Let's all talk about it. Let's talk about sex, baby. We're not talking about you and me. We're talking about you and yours. But let's talk about it. Well, I got to get going because I have to clean. I have to check on my son. I have to cook. I pretty much have to do everything that is required of a wife and mom in a span of two hours. So I'm going to get going. Again, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to like, comment, and share because sharing is caring. And I will see y'all next video. Mwah.